Hi, Stephen here from Inexterious Painters and Decorators and you're watching Inexterious TV. In this video we're going to be repairing peeling paint in the bathroom. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that are used for this task, please feel free to check out the links in the description below. And also, if you're planning on doing any other decorating works, please feel free to visit my tool store. The links are also in the description below. So with that said, let's do this. The tools and materials that I'm using for this task is a multi-tool scraper, some Zinza peel stop, some worn down 80 gray sandpaper, a filling knife, cork board, some Jiprock Easy Fill 60, a paintbrush and a dust brush. This is the ceiling we're going to be repairing and as you can see it's all bubbly and the paint's um, peeling and the cause of it is basically the paint wasn't watered down before it was applied to the new plaster. I mean in most areas you'll probably get away with it even though it's not the right thing to do but in a higher moisture content like a bathroom shower room you're not going to get away with it and especially when there's no window to open when you're having a shower as well. What we need to do is give it a good scrape down. We need to give it a good scrape down sand and a good dusting off. Um, if all of the ceiling would have scraped off as easy as what this area would have done, I would have scraped down the whole ceiling. But because I managed to get it to a good hard solid edge, I had no need to scrape down the full ceiling. And I probably wouldn't have been able to anyway because it would have been too hard. Once it's had a good scrape, sand down and dust off, we're ready for applying the Zinza Pill Stop. This Zinza Pill Stop is doing two things. It's sealing the plaster and it's sticking the edges down. Once the pill stops dry, I'll go around a second time with the pill stop, but this time I'm just working it into the edges, just making sure that all them edges have been hit. I'm not giving it all a coat, like I say, I'm just concentrating on working it into the edges.
once the pill stops dry we're ready for giving it its first of two fills and what we're doing is, is we're just filling the edges just where the paint steps onto the plaster if you would like to know how to mix Jip Rock Easy Fill 60 or would like to watch some more videos on peeling paint the videos will pop up at the end of this video on an end screen remember when you're filling fill cleanly it's then less to sand and when you've got less to sand it means less work or easier work Before you give it its second fill, just give it a light sand down and a dust off. You're just giving it the light sand down to knock off any nibs. The second fill really does get rid of that step between the paint and the um, plaster. It really is worth doing a second fill. I just want to point out that nothing is perfect either. I take progress over perfection any day of the week and if you know that you've done your best that is all that matters. Once the fill is dry, I'll give it a sand down with my worn down 80 grade sandpaper. And the reason why I like to use worn down sandpaper is because I don't want to sand all the filler out. I just want to um, smooth it off. And once you've filled cleanly, it is a lot easier to sand. Once we have sanded, we're going to give it a good dust off. And then all the filled areas, I'm going to give a coat of Zinza Pill Stop. Now if I was painting a wall in a sitting room and I painted the wall then filled it I would generally just flash the filler up with the emulsion but because we're in a bathroom I'm going to go the extra mile and I'm going to seal the filler as well with the Zinza Pill Stop. Right, now it's ready for painting and what I'm doing is this is in a vinyl silk finish so first of all I'm just going to put a coat of matte emulsion on it and then it will be getting finished with two coats of vinyl silk. The matte emulsion just gives me a better base coat for the um, vinyl silk where if I put three coats of vinyl silk on this it uh, struggle to cover. But if I put a coat of matte emulsion and then two vinyl silks here, here to cover. It still might need a third coat of vinyl silk depending on the quality of the paint. Here's a reminder of what it looked like before.
and here's what it looks like now all the peeling paint's been repaired don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notified of when I release my next video remember it is free also if you want to leave a comment in the comment section please do so because that's how we all learn and grow thank you very much for watching and take care